January can be the best month for writers. Hello and Happy New Year! I'm Ellen Byram and this is my writing journey where I share my experiences, if not exactly my wisdom of my writing process and how I get from here to there and hopefully production. Anyway, how do you look at January? Is it just a dreary, awful month without any holidays in it? Well, I love January. I think January is the best time for a reset. Think about it. From Thanksgiving to Christmas to New Year's, it is one whirlwind of responsibilities and duties and buying presents and wrapping presents and decorating and cooking and thinking about everything in the world except your writing. So, and that's probably mostly if you're female. Maybe males get away with not having to do all that stuff. But for the rest of us, you know it is just one endless task. So there's January. January comes across as a calm sea of tranquility for my brain. I wrote these words last January, and I want to think about how last January is different from this January. I like January or rather the idea of January, which can be enticing and a productive uh, time for writing. The tranquil January of my imagination promises serene winter days, a reward for having made it through the holiday season. It is a time with fewer distractions from the work, a place to rest and revive, to listen to the writer inside, a place of calm and productivity. It is a time to find the quietude necessary for writing, the sea of tranquility for your brain. The January of my imagination is full of cool, languid days, with mist rising from pretty ponds and lovely walks in snowy woods. Fog kisses the treetops and the crisp air is full of ideas, dialogue, and characters. The January of my imagination smells like rain and creativity, even though I live in a place where it very seldom rains. So I wrote that last year, and I think January fulfilled its promise to me. We actually made a pact to take some days out at a favorite coffee shop and work and work with some friends and have a little writing circle, and that worked amazingly well. But this January, I'm going to have to cut some things out. I plan, and this is not a resolution, it is simply a goal, plan to start earlier in the day writing because... I get trapped by my computer and I will no longer read my email until after I do my writing hours and I am going to turn off my phone and I might actually shut it off completely for a few first few hours of the day where I can write. However, one thing doesn't stop is I must get my exercise. I go to the pool or I do Pilates here at home. So that will stay because I think the exercise gets the rest of the brain working. But January can be great. You can just take a pause and take a breath in January. I certainly hope to do that this month, and I wish for you success and productivity. And let me know how you feel about January and finally getting back to the calm before the storm of the rest of the year. That's what I have for this week, and I'll talk to you later. See you then. Bye.